Hi, this is Gareth Kentish and today's video is to show how effective a mind map can be to help create your own product. And as an example, I'm going to use this very program to show how the mind map was developed to create the product. And I use a piece of software called FreeMind, which is free and downloadable for the internet, but you can quite easily use a blank piece of paper. And you can see from the screen here that it's almost blank apart from the central bubble called the new mind map. And I guess the first thing that needs to be done is to think of a name. Now, this name may change later on, of course, as it depends on the ideas that start to flow as the mind map develops. But for the, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to call this product the Auction Money Generator Program Number 2. So let's make a note of that. Now I do know that one of the best ways to stimulate ideas is to ask lots of questions. And the first question that I'm going to ask is, well, what is the best way for my customers to benefit from eBay, online retail in general, and possibly what they have learned from the auction money generator program number one? The answer is simple and that is to capitalize on the subscriber list. So I'm going to make a note of that too, because I wish to expand on that in this program. And by doing so, I want to explore really the best ways to engage with this subscriber list. And there is a phenomenon going on at the moment, and that is the increase in social media. So let's make a note of that too, social media. These are things like um, setting up Facebook groups. Let's make a note of that too. And other social media sites such as Twitter. And the professional one called LinkedIn. I'm just going to add that in here too. And there are there are other social media sites, but that list can be expanded on later on. The question I want to ask myself is, well, how am I going to um, keep in touch with my subscriber list? Well, there's one important tool that needs to be written down here, and that is to establish an autoresponder, setting up automatic mail outs and um, promotions and broadcasts and so on. And of course, an effective way in keeping touch with your customers is to develop a personal blog. So I'm now building up quite a lot of information around that one topic, which can be expanded on as this mind map develops. But I now want to explore other, other avenues, and that is to look at ways to generate silent revenues to support this subscriber list. And one great way to generate silent revenues is to create an affiliation program. Let's make a note of that. And that can be done with working with large companies. So let's make a note here. As well as building up relationships with internet marketers. Marketers. The large companies could be companies like Amazon, could be eBay, Google, Clickbank, and so on. There are a number of companies that I can expand upon. But now what you're hopefully seeing here is that the product is beginning to shape up and I can easily expand on these topics and pass real value here to my customers because this is exactly what I do do. So just as an example of what this mind map looks like a little bit later on I guess I'll just click on this tab here and you can see here how that product has expanded and I do make this mind map available in the course but you can see here how the ideas or the questions have been used to stimulate ideas and I've now got something to work on as I create my product. 
I do hope this has been useful for you and it does help you use the mind maps effectively to create your own products. My name's Gareth Kentish and thank you again for watching. Look forward to hearing from you.